Hi folks, this is Red We Met coming to you with another Red's Bedtime Story. This one is about Frank Schweiss and I recently saw somebody post or there a discussion about the Iceman and how he was the most dangerous murderer out there for the mob. Well, Frank was more than dangerous. Um, I'm going to post up some articles with this video, I hope, that will uh, confirm it. But he got away with everything he did. He killed Johnny Roselli. He murdered him and sent him out into Keith Biscayne um, in an oil drum. <laughs> um, Richard Kane, Pat Riccardi, Ricciardi, Patsy Ric Ricciardi. The list, really, uh, uh, Paul Gonski. Um, it goes on and on and on. He was arrested so many times, but he, there was never a witness. Nobody would testify against him. Nobody would even go to the police and talk to them. When the police came to them, they wouldn't talk to him. He had a get-out-of-jail-free card, but people were afraid of him. Very much afraid of him. But he was my target, and I did testify against him. We couldn't get him on murder. But we got him on the Hobbs Act. And that took him off the street for a while. Took Al Capone off the street for a while too when he got income tax evasion charges. But that's how things go. But if you're going to compare the two, Schweiss and the Iceman, Kaczynski, let me tell you something. Schweiss didn't make any mistakes. Kaczynski did. Kaczynski died. He was, he was executed. Uh, he went to prison. And also he made mistakes on his murders, where he, he left people half alive, had to go back, do things. A lot of things about him, he just wasn't the same. Schweiss was kind of an expert at what he did. And like I said, the one distinctive, very good distinctive difference is, yeah, Schweiss died in jail waiting for trial, but he was never convicted of anything. Even though he was involved in bank robberies, uh, he was involved in um, uh, coke uh, deals that he'd go out and kill Colombians on the beaches in uh, Miami Beach, down South Beach. But he got away with it. He got away with everything he did. He kept the money, and sent the coke back up to Chicago. You sit around and talk to me about it all the time. Different things like that. And afterwards he'd say, tell me about you do, what you do or whatever. You know, he'd talk like that and I'd say, Frank, I never talk about my work. Now, I might have been chuckling with him, because I do have a habit of chuckling, but uh, that's a nervous habit that I have. But I got very serious when I told him that, and he's turned around. When I said, I never talk about my work, never. He, I was very serious in my face, and he patted me on the back, and he said, that's what I like about you, kid. But that's my story about Frank Schweiss, and I'll, I'll try and post some uh, articles about it, and uh, we'll see where this goes. By the way, if any of you that are watching uh, and listening, if you don't know, I wrote a book, and it's called Nobody Cares and What I Did About It. And you might find it very interesting. You can order an autographed copy at redwaymet.com or the shop page on, or the shop button, excuse me, on the page. Nobody cares and what I did about it. It's my page for that. But anyway, if you don't want an autograph book, or you can get it at uh, Amazon. CreateSpace has it. CreateSpace is a division of Amazon. But Amazon has it, Barnes, all, all the fine bookstores. Books a Million, Barnes & Noble. But you get an autograph copy if you go to redwebmet.com or the shop button on my page. Nobody cares and what I did about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the story and have a great evening and God bless you.